Hello and welcome to Newsbreak. I'm your host, Alex Snyder. Coming up, SEC Volleyball Preview, but first, today's top stories. Salem hosted its 140th Salem Old Settlers Festival Friday through Sunday, which featured a parade, kids games, a new carnival, concerts, and great food. Sabrina Matthews, a member of the 10 Person Old Settlers Committee that planned the event, was in charge of the carnival and fun run this year. She said attendance at the Friday night activities such as the car show and bean supper and the concerts of Jennifer Lynn handling and Re revolution were down this year because of extreme heat. However, Saturday's weather was much better and a good crowd lined the city streets for the morning's parade. Followed by kids games under the water tower and treats from our four food vendors who had set up shop in Central Park, Salem also hired a new carnival company for this year, Joe's Old Fashioned Carnivals from Des Moines, which set up nine rides. More than 100 dogs were surrendered this week to Iowa City Animal Services after an investigation of a dog breeder in rural Johnson County, according to the news release from Iowa City Animal Services. The Iowa Department of Agriculture and Land Stewardship performed a random inspection Thursday at Sunset Valley Farm, which found the 131 dogs on the property were being kept in hot, dirty conditions, and many of the dogs were in state of distress. According to the report, the exhaust fans to the building where the dogs give birth was not running when the un unannounced inspection started. With the exhaust fan running, the indoor temperature was still 91 degrees Fahrenheit with 64% humidity. Nearly all 16 female dogs and pups were found with matted coats and dirty fur, the report states. The outdoor area for the dogs to exercise was not kept in good repair, so as to safely contain the animals therein without injury, the report states adding that the golden retriever was loose at the time of the inspection. Johnson County Sheriff Brad Kanekel said no arrests have been made, but the investigation at the dog breeding operation is ongoing. We're going to take a quick break, and when we come back, we'll take a look at, at the weather. Caber Auto Group, we put our customers' needs first and understand that everyone is as different as the vehicle they select. We offer new Ford, Chevrolet, Buick, GMC, Jeep, Chrysler, Dodge, and Ram vehicles in a friendly environment that puts you in the driver's seat. When it comes to service, we maintain factory-trained technicians and competitive pricing. The Capper Auto Group still believes that service after the sale provides the best customer experience. Come see the Capper experience for yourself. You know, it's not a question of what all you have and so on with your life. It's who is in your life and how much you care for them and how much they care for you. And Tammy definitely cares. Federation Bank is a locally owned bank providing award-winning customer service. We believe that we are more than just a federation of banks, but a federation of communities serving Brighton, Richland, Wellman, Washington, Iowa. Federation Bank's highly skilled staff is here to make sure you are able to accomplish your personal and professional goals, whatever they may be. Federation Bank, your family bank. I met Tammy about 20 years ago. With, when her daughter was in Special Olympics and I was coaching, told me that she was into doing senior benefits. We became even closer friends. She cares about everybody, especially the seniors, so call her. Hello and welcome back to Newsbreak. Coming up, your five-day forecast, but first, obituaries. Nancy Tompkins Knapp of Washington passed away on August 25th at the age of 62. A memorial funeral service for Nancy will be held at 11 a.m. on September 1st at the Wellspring Evangelical Free Church. Norma Leo Woolham Hemphrey of Mount Pleasant passed away on August 22nd at the age of 85. Memorial service will be held at 11 a.m. September 9th at Elliott Chapel. Franklin Wayne Morris of Kyoto passed away on August 28th at the age of 74. Funeral service will be held at 10.30 a.m. on August 31st at the National Guard Armory in Washington. Jamie Sin Jamie Buffer of Kelowna passed away on April 3rd at the age of 43. A Celebration of Life gathering will be held September 14th at the Visitor Center and Quilt Museum at the Kelowna Historical Village. That was your obituaries. Now it's time for your five-day forecast. Starting off the week, Monday, 
has offered mostly sunny skies with a high of 82 and the night's temperature dips down to 61 degrees. Tuesday presents a sunny day with a high of 86. Wednesday continues the trend of sunny conditions, a high of 80. The night temperature drops down to about 53 degrees. Thursday keeps things sunny with a high of 82. Wrapping up the forecast, Friday features mostly sunny weather, a high of 87. We're going to take another quick break, and when we come back, we'll take a look at the sports. Since 1905, Kelowna Cooperative Technology Company has helped our community stay connected with the latest advancements in clear, dependable telecommunications services. KCTC provides rural Iowans with access to high-speed fiber internet, as well as phone, television, computer repair, and cybersecurity solutions. We're also proud supporters of local organizations and area schools within the community. KCTC, keeping Kelowna connected. Hospice isn't a place, it's a type of care that focuses on living. Servicing a seven county area, the Hospice of Washington County staff of nurses, social work, hospice aides, spiritual and grief support, volunteers, music and massage therapists are able to provide free end of life care where the patient lives. We write wills, give consent for organ donation, but rarely is there a plan for what we would want the final phase of our lives. At Hospice of Washington County, we encourage our patients to be in charge of their health care decisions while maintaining quality of life. Family owned and operated by Andy and Sarah Ross, Ross Auto has been your vehicle repair and maintenance headquarters since 1935. We specialize in all makes of cars and light duty trucks. With our variety of available services, let us help you keep rolling and your vehicle operating efficiently. Services include general auto repair, alignments, brakes, fuel injection, and more. Schedule your appointment today at 319-653-5656. That's 319-653-5656. Welcome back to Newsbreak. I'm your host, Alex Snyder. It is now time for your sports. Southeast Conference Volleyball will ramp up this week as Tuesday will bring a full slate of conference action. Through one week, it's clear it's going to be anyone's race for the SEC title as a slew of teams have already duked it out on the court. Heading to the first full week, the SEC action Burlington currently holds the best record at 4-3. Fairfield, Mount Pleasant, and Washington all sit with a pair of wins with the Trojans at 2-3, the Demons at 2-6, and, and the Panthers at 2-6. Demon Cost Country is off and running. The 4th ranked Demon Girls finished with 82 points on the day, falling only to 8th ranked Salon's score of 55. That is your news for Southeast Iowa. I have been your host, Alex Snyder. This has been your news break, and I will see you next time.